hey guys it's victoria welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be trying out a new poly gel brand which i'm excited to try something i've never tried before hopefully all goes well and we fall in love with a new brand so the brand is to be glam this is their take me home kit right away they are knocking it out of the park with the packaging i absolutely love the pink and the girliness so when you open up the box it says hello gorgeous up at the top and right here you have all your goodies so here's what it's looking like this is such a pretty card oh i love they put their instruction manual in an envelope that's different tells you how to use their product how much to cure it for i'll definitely look into this because i've never used their products before so i want to make sure i'm doing everything right you get a mini lamp it says to be glam at the top has some legs right here and six lights i read the box and it says that it is six watts so not super duper strong but probably enough to cure the poly gel we'll see comes with dual forms Ooh. so it comes with standard dual forms and it also comes with stiletto shaped dual forms they have a 100 180 grit hand file our poly gel brush base and top coat and your six poly gels which i'll swatch in just one second so this is everything that comes in the kit all together it's such a beautiful shade of pink that they chose for the packaging it all looks so pretty now i'm gonna go ahead and swatch these six poly gels so here's what the bottle is looking like and the bottles are 15 grams which is half of a full-size poly gel so it's nice that you get lots of colors they all come sealed first we have you're my queen i love that they actually have names this one's oh she pretty Sweet Talk, Just in Pink, Pretty Much, and Pure. I thought that this one was a gray, but it's actually clear, <laughs> which is perfect. I love when kits have clears with them. So here's what they're looking like up close. I love that they got some glitter colors in there as well as just some flat colors. We're gonna go ahead and get into our set. So I have my protective layer of base gel on so that I can go ahead and start my nails. Before I do, I just wanna say that this kit runs for about $50 and I do have a coupon code with them. So if you use Vicks Nail Tips at checkout, you can get 10% off of your order. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have my nail tips all sized out. I'm gonna go ahead and clip off the little pointy edges so that they fit better on my nail and apply them with glue. If you're wondering, I'm using the McCart XXL coffin tips. Okay, so tips are on. I left out my pinky because I really wanna use the stiletto dual form. I'm gonna clean up the edges a little bit. It's already in the perfect coffin shape, so I'm just going to straighten this up. All right, so now it's time to get into the application process. I'm not going to be using base coat because I don't need these to last long. It didn't come with slip solution, so I'm just gonna be using alcohol like I normally do. So I have my stiletto dual form and you're my queen. This nail is gonna be fully covered in this color, so I'm just going to apply a decent sized bead in here and pat it into place. The main things I'm keeping in mind while I'm doing this is keeping it thinner around the perimeter of the nail and making sure it reaches both side walls. Let's go ahead and apply this. Got it on there and now I'm just cleaning up. Okay, I think that looks good. The bottom is not fully cured yet, so I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and then put it back in the lamp like this so that the underside can cure. Let's pop it off. I like how sharp it is. Feels pretty strong too. Next is my ring finger. I'm going to use Sweet Talk. Right now, I actually want to show you how I fully cover a nail with just one bead. You guys know I love the two bead method because it makes everything so easy, but sometimes I just want to get it all done in one, so I'm going to show you how I do that. It all starts with the way that the bead is squeezed out, so I like to make sure that there's a lot of product down here at the bottom, and it slightly gets thinner as you go up to the top because the top doesn't need as much product as the apex area. So what I like to do is place it directly in the center. I'm going to pull this product away from the cuticle first and I can bring back as much product as I want to the cuticle. So I'm just fitting it there first. And now the main thing you wanna do is just pull this bead from side to side, pull at the edges. So I keep that height in the center of the bead. 
And with this, you just want to keep constantly checking that you haven't lost your apex. Sometimes if I need to, I'll push more product back. The thinnest point is going to be up here at the top. So if we need to take product from here and bring it down, we can. And now I'm just going to smooth out this entire nail. Okay, so here's what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. One more nail fully covered in one color, which is my pointer finger. I'm going back to your My Queen. I'm gonna do this one off camera really quick, doing the exact same thing I did on my ring finger. All right, so I'm noticing that I'm having to cure my nails a lot longer than I thought I would. The instruction manual says 30 to 60 seconds, but I think because these poly gels are really pigmented and because poly gel is just a thick consistency, it's having a hard time curing all the layers of poly gel. So I just wanna make sure you guys know that you will probably be having to cure it in this lamp twice. And if you're doing that, I recommend front and back. Looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and move on to the design nails. I want to do a negative space right here. So starting off with this color, the beta product is getting spread from sidewall to sidewall. Then I'm going to smooth it nearby my cuticle. Now bring that product up about right there and I'm going to use the spatula side and now just wipe away all the excess so I can mark where I want this color to end okay I'm gonna cure okay clean this off so we can file it up so we have super straight lines but that looks pretty straight to me I'm gonna go ahead and move into pretty much Making sure first to bring it all the way next to that pink line. We don't want any gaps between the two colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure, and then file it up to straighten the line. I think I'm gonna try to do this bead first. I played with it quite a bit, but it's looking really good so far. So I'm gonna cure. Oh, so it wasn't all the way cured and I wiped it away. I should have checked it first, but I was trying to wipe the stickiness away and I ended up wiping away some of it. So let me fix it. All right, so I fixed it up. I'm putting it back in the lamp, but I'm gonna use mine just so I for sure know that it's curing all the way. Here's what it's looking like up close. We are almost done with the color blocking part. We're gonna fill in the tip with that sweet talk one more time. Ooh, they're looking so cute. Okay, I'm gonna cure this. So the last part we have to do is just fill in this negative space. I'm gonna go ahead and use this reflective decorating flakes. I have the base coat off to the side. And this is just gonna act as a sticky layer for the flakes to stick to. Ooh, I think that looks so pretty. It, it kind of looks like a mosaic or like broken glass a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna cure this cause it's perfect and then we're gonna encapsulate it all. Okay, so time to finish up this finger. I'm gonna be using their pure poly gel. On this watch, it looked really, really clear. I'm always excited to try out new clears and see if anything is clearer than my favorite. So as I'm doing this, I'm noticing a difference in consistency in this clear than the other colors. This one's a lot softer, I can tell already, where the color poly gels are a pretty thick consistency. It almost feels like builder gel. This is what it's looking like. I'm going to cure and sweet talk.
Okay, so here's what we have. I really love this little accent stiletto shape, super cute. So I'm gonna use this hand file to reshape. I'm gonna use my medium ceramic safety drill bit to file the nails. To file them, you'll see me go around my cuticle first to clean up that area, then use up and down motions to debulk the nail and side to side motions to smooth out the nail. While I'm doing that and finishing up the design, I'm gonna talk about my experience with this kit, whether I like it or not, and everything you need to know about it. All right, so let's get into it. Starting off with the packaging. Of course, you guys know I love the packaging. I thought the aesthetic was really pretty and consistent throughout from the outside of the box and the product. And of course, my favorite thing was the instruction manual coming in that little envelope. So cute. As far as what came in the kit, I think the things that stood out to me most was the dual forms. I love how it came with standard and stiletto shape dual forms. Another thing was that it came with a lamp, which is great. I know you guys saw me earlier struggling with it a little bit, but I just came to the conclusion that you're probably going to need to cure it in the lamp for about a minute and a half or two minutes curing both the top and the bottom so light gets through the entire nail which is totally doable it was just i prefer to use my lamp but that is really great for someone who's a beginner just know that you need to double cure another thing that i noticed is that this kit didn't come with any slip solution which i don't think is a good or a bad thing it's just something you need to know just make sure you have some alcohol on deck i also noticed that this kit didn't come with any nail art but it did come with three glitter poly gels which was awesome i've thought that the color choices and finishes of the poly gels were great they had a really good mixture of staple poly gel colors and some fun poly gel colors as far as the consistency it was on the thick and stiffer side not so stiff to where you can't push and pull it it was really easy to do that but you could tell that it was pretty dense which is actually my preference of poly gel i like something a little bit stiffer but when it comes to the clear the clear was a completely different consistency than the others it was very soft it was actually kind of perfect because lately i've been liking and encapsulating my nails with runnier clear poly gels because it doesn't disturb the design underneath. Ooh, they're looking so cute, so pretty. Here's that stiletto nail, the pink nail. This is that negative space, our pointer finger. And then here is a thumb. I think the nails are so cute. I'm really happy with the way that they turned out. I think I covered it all. I really enjoyed this kit. I would absolutely recommend this to you guys. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.